Hello. In this session, we will be talking about how we can enhance the standard business object. You know that we are having several standard business object given by SAP. All those business object we can go and check from SWO2 transaction or SWO3 transaction, or maybe you can go and check with the help of BAPI transaction. So if we go to SWO2, you will be able to see the standard you know business object given by sap so for example here for ledger you know you see here the different business object which you have available you know double click over here and it's taking you again if you double click so all these are the business object different different business object for account, you have this account business object. And one business object can have, you know, the methods, attributes, keys, interfaces. If you know this repository, how to use, many things you can find from here, right? So for account related, some BAPI you are looking for, let's suppose. So you can go and check maybe this uh, accounting document and you can check the different methods are available over here, right? If a BAPI is getting used, a green color symbol will come. So here there is no BAPI. So no green color symbol is coming. So we can leave this one like that one by one. You can go and check it out. What are the BAPI and all, you know, or different methods already defined in the system in the business object. And that method, if you want to use that, you can also use. I will show you how to use the attributes and methods in your program if you are willing to use. Okay. So, so many standard business object. If you want to add one custom method in the existing standard business object, how to do? There are two ways of doing this one. One, using inheritance and second, using delegation. So let's go and write it down over here. Two ways to enhance the standard business object. The first one, using inheritance and the second one using delegation. Now we will see one by one what is this inheritance and what is, you know, a delegation. 